Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to Sky Factory 3. You knew it had to be coming. So, now that we have mods for Minecraft 1.10, Bacon Donut has gone ahead and updated the mod pack of Sky Factory to include the majority of these 1.10 mods that are available at the moment. So you can see we have 186 mods in this pack. Now there are a few of them here that uh, we are going to automatically shun. And there's some interesting reasons for this. I've been thinking about how I want to go about playing this mod pack this time. And I've come up with a few rules. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just start jumping into the map right away. So we're going to go ahead and create a new world. Uh, we're going to name this Season 3 because, oddly enough, this is Season 3 of Sky Factory. Now, the first rule that I've got is Hardcore. So, we are going to be playing in Hardcore mode again. And uh, this kind of makes things interesting because uh, not only do we have to worry about dying and losing the world, but also because Hardcore also incorporates Hard mode, we can starve to death. So there is a lot of very difficult things coming about from Hardcore. Let's see what other um, void type or void world. Yeah, everything else looks fine there. So we're going to go ahead and create the world. And while that's creating, we're going to talk about a couple other things that I have decided. First off, Tinker's Construct is in the mod pack. But I am going to say we cannot use Tinker's Construct tools. Now, I don't know what you guys are going to think of that, but I am going to say no. We have to either use vanilla tools or some other mod, something like that. Oh, ah, we've got this stupid sky again. I didn't care for it last time. I don't care for it this time. It looks interesting and all, but it really messes with the uh, video quality. If you guys know what mod this is that adds this sky, uh, I would really like to be able to remove it from the pack. That way I don't have that. I, I think it would be greatly beneficial. Um, but we have no Tinker's Construct tools. Now another thing that I want to say is we are not going to use an extra utilities cobblestone generator. This is just a personal thing. I want to be able to say we set up an actual machine to do cobblestone mining rather than just slapping some water, cobblestone, and lava down on the ground, putting a extra utilities uh, item node on it, and then just say, okay, we don't have to worry about cobblestone ever again. I want to actually have to do something with that. So that's my ideas on the cobble generator. Another thing is I have never used Blood Magic as a mod. So I am going to say as soon as we can start to get cobblestone generation and we start to get a little bit of a decent sized island, we are going to start into Blood Magic. Now that could be just within a couple episodes. So if you like Blood Magic, we're going to be getting into that right away. And like I say, I have never used it, so it's going to be a total new learning experience for me. I've watched a lot of other people with Blood Magic, but I have never done it myself. And the final rule that I've come up with right now is that I want the base to look like a sci-fi space station. Now, we, we did uh, kind of a, a medieval-looking circular disc base in season one i was getting into some kind of organic looking islands in season two i want to do a sci-fi space station this time around so we'll see how that goes along now i also want to put it to you guys if you have any ideas for rules or limitations that you want or goals that you want me to work towards in this series leave them down in the comments and while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know that you want to see more of the series. And I guess with that, I think we've taken care of all of the introduction for the series. And we're going to head into it. So much the same as usual, we start out on a tree and one block of dirt. So we're going to go ahead and 
work our way down through this tree very carefully and uh, before we do that I am going to get a little bit of this junk off of my hotbar we're gonna go ahead and make a crafting table immediately so let's go ahead and be very careful here now I don't know if we have anything that's similar to vein miner but uh, man this could be really dangerous really fast I never really like this beginning here I've had so many times that I punched the wrong leaf and ended up in the void okay so we did get a sapling that's good that's our most important thing here Ooh, two saplings okay so with that we're kind of in a situation where we can actually do something so I am gonna go ahead and set this down we're gonna make a few slabs that way once we get to the bottom we don't have to really worry about it and another thing that I think I may do this might actually help we're gonna try this I have never tried to do this before so I'm gonna break a couple more of these and then we're gonna place one log back up above our head I want to see if this will keep that the leaves from despawning so we're gonna go ahead and do our usual put the crafting table on the side of the dirt we're going to make a few more slabs and cover everything underneath here with slabs so I know I should be going half slab down but for now this is what we're gonna do so go ahead and build this out and then we're also going to place the single torch that we were given to start out with right next to the tree and then I don't know if we have we had the twerking mod in the last pack so and this does seem to have worked none of the leaves have despawned so that gives us time now to get the platform built and then we can go around and punch the trees ourselves so that if there are any leaves we will get them all very or any saplings we'll get them all that's very beneficial now uh, I had found out a little too late in the last series that uh, we had wooden shears now I don't know if we have anything like that this time around but uh, we're gonna get this tree planted we're gonna put the torch down next to it so that stuff grows and we're gonna quick look and see if we have any shears that are gonna help us out here we do have wooden shears from wooden shears so it does take a sapling to make these it takes a couple of planks a couple of sticks and a sapling so yep I will definitely be making those I wonder what the durability is on those but let's see if we oh we do have the twerking mod okay so that's gonna really speed things along okay so let's go ahead and make a wooden shear and see what all goes on with that so we should have enough wood now we definitely have enough saplings I'm gonna go ahead and make some sticks and we'll take one of our saplings and these and there we go wooden shears what was that sound uh, I don't know but so now we should be able to, oh nice okay so do we have a durability rating let's go f3h um i think we have to be out of there f3h okay there we go advanced tooltip shown so 75 durability that's actually a really good rating on these so let's go ahead and gather up some leaves and hopefully we will be getting saplings while we're shooting yes yes that is really good so we're gonna have saplings and leaves for composting to get dirt and that was odd I didn't pick stuff up for a little bit so this is really gonna speed things along we'll be able to get a lot more stuff okay so there's our first set of shears gone I'm gonna go ahead and make another one of those since I've found out now that we will be getting plenty of saplings out of this as well so uh, yeah we will have tons of leaves out of this this is really nice 
to be able to make ourselves a great deal plenty of dirt right off the bat so let's go ahead and punch these logs down we'll plant another tree and uh, then we'll take a look at getting some dirt now to make dirt we are going to need to make a barrel for composting I believe so what we'll need to do is check here so now dirt so to make dirt oh we, we can make dirt wedges neat so we have dirt essence from mystical agriculture this is one that I kind of want to get into right away so compost so this is just the wooden barrel from Ex Nihilo. Okay, so let's go ahead and look up the barrel, if I can spell it right. So the wooden barrel from Ex Nihilo, no change in the recipe there. That's pretty simple, and uh, that's all we need right there. So I do find it kind of odd. We only got 52 leaf blocks out of that, but I guess that's better than nothing. So what we do here with this now, we just put in leaves. I think it's eight leaves to make the compost. You can see it's slowly counting down. So what I'm going to do now is do this. I'm gonna grow trees, make dirt, grow trees, make dirt, grow trees, make dirt, expand the platform, all of that. Do the usual stuff that has to be done at the beginning of Sky Factory, and then I will be back and we'll take a look at some other things that we need to be doing. So now that we have a little bit of dirt and a fair amount of wood, we're going to do the next thing that we need to get going, which is some food production. Now in order to do that, we first need to make a crook. Now the wooden crook is just made with four sticks, so it takes um, uh, two pieces of two planks, so you can make two crooks out of one log. So instead of making a regular crook, we are going to make a compressed crook. So it takes two logs to make one compressed crook. Not that big of a deal. I think we actually have enough planks here to do it. So we need to make four of these guys, and they do not stay. well, whoops. But they do not stack, so we need to put these guys together, and then we'll make a compressed crook. Now, the compressed crook does leaf breaking a lot faster than uh, the regular crook. And you may have seen it there. We got a silkworm. So this is what we need in order to be able to continue on with our journey here. And what the silkworm does is it will infect a tree's leaves and create a silky mesh inside of them that you can harvest as string. So what we're going to do, we're going to knock this tree down and we are going to plant another one and put these two silkworms in it and get it to expand out and cover the entire tree. We want to get the entire tree infested so we're going to get this tree grown. Come on. There we go. So we're going to put one silkworm over here. We're going to put one silkworm over here. And now it's just going to kind of be a waiting game. You can see the infection of the, or the infestation of the leaves. Infection of the leaves is spreading very rapidly. It will consume the entire tree and it will be white here very shortly. So I'm going to wait for that to become completely infested. In the meantime, I'm going to continue composting these leaves, which we have another stack of. We're already up to five dirt, so we will have room for a farm once we get uh, our string, because we're going to need to make a sieve and sieve a little bit of dirt. So I'm going to keep making this dirt, wait for these leaves to get done, and I will see you guys in a little bit. So now that our tree is completely infested, we're going to go ahead and break all these leaves with our crook and we'll get tons and tons of string and we should get some silkworms back from this as well. And if we don't, it's not that big of a deal because we can always do this again in the future. So uh, we're going to just get all of this string. This is very valuable to us at the moment. So let's go ahead and get the rest of that. We'll Go ahead and knock down the rest of this tree just like we do and uh, we'll plant a new one and hopefully we can get another one growing while we do our stuff here 
So let's go ahead and put down another tree. Now I've been continuing to expand the island constantly. So hopefully we will get a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's go ahead and throw a little bit more leaves into our composting bins. We're down to 21 leaves. That's good, I guess. So now we need to make a sieve. Whoop. That is not the correct spelling. I-E-V-E. -E. So we need to make a sieve. Now this requires mesh. We can also make the heavy sieves and that will work with compressed stuff, but I, I don't want to use that much dirt. So we're going to use our regular sieve and we're going to do this. It takes uh, slabs, planks, and sticks. So let's go ahead and make up some slabs. We have some planks. This is a different recipe now. But so there's our sieve, and then we also need the mesh, which is actually just nine string. So uh, there's our string mesh, and there was some other stuff here. So we've got the Pam's Harvest Craft cotton, I believe, woolen cotton, woven cotton. So what's this? This is a fuse from Steve's Carts. Was there anything else? No. Okay, well, for now, we are going to do this, and I'm betting that they probably have a durability added into these guys now. So we need to put this string mesh in here. Okay, there we go. And now we will sieve a little bit of dirt. So that gave us some stone pebbles, and that's it. So what we are looking for here is some seeds. So we do have the possibility of getting seeds. Mm, come on, give me some seeds. No, just keep getting the stone pebbles. Come on. Seeds! Need food. So we got a jungle seed. Really? Come on. We got an acorn or an oak seed. That still is not doing us a lot of good. We need seeds so that we can grow some wheat or something come on we need food a birch seed we're gonna get all the trees to no food come on that's our last dirt <laughs> this is not good well i guess this is supposed to give us some seeds eventually and our luck is not real good but hey one thing we have 13 cobblestone that's a lot of cobblestone okay well i guess it is back to leaf collection as i try to get some seeds i didn't expect it to be this hard to get seeds so i guess and before i go i'm probably going to try making a wooden axe I do. Well, I guess we have cobblestone now. Let's go ahead and make a cobblestone axe. Now, does this have... Yes, it's got the 131 durability that would come with uh, a Minecraft tool. So, yep, I am going to get back to collecting leaves and composting dirt. Then I'll sieve that dirt until I can get myself some seeds. Oops. See you guys in a little bit. So, time for a little bit of a status update. We have seeds now. So, I managed to get two seeds. And so, I've got these planted. They are starting to grow now. Uh, we are also still getting tons and tons of dirt. As you can see, I've got 30 dirt. And I've put another dirt here as well as a birch fence around the outside and some torches. I made myself a furnace to turn some jungle wood into charcoal. And I'm a little unhappy I didn't get any more jungle saplings from the stupid tree but so uh, yeah we have a little bit of charcoal left but uh, we also have three apples so I want to take this is something that uh, used to be just one apple but now it's three and we can get a Pam's Harvest Craft apple sapling now I am assuming that this one Yep, this one will get the bone meal effect as well. So now we have all of these apples on here that once they're ripe, we'll be able to eat them. So that is really helpful. 
I am going to go ahead and remove some of the leaves that we don't need on here. And, uh, yeah, I'm out of, uh, shears at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we should have some food coming in really soon. That's a, a good thing. And then also another thing that I'm going to do here, I'm going to remove the base of the log here. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to leave it sitting, I think. So uh, now that we have this stuff, I think we're ready to try to get a little bit of other items sieved up. So we still have two pieces of cobblestone. We have eight pebbles left. We're going to go ahead and make that. So now we have four cobblestone. Well, now we need to make ourselves a hammer. So we need these hammers here. Now, looks like, yeah, we can make the compressed stuff, but we're just gonna go ahead and make up a wooden hammer. Very simple. And uh, this will allow us to pulverize this cobblestone. So what's the durability on this? We've got 64 durability. That will definitely last us through the four cobblestone that we have. So we have four cobblestone. We're gonna sit here and hammer that. That turns it into gravel. So once we have gravel, then we can hammer this stuff again and it will turn it into sand. Well, what we need is dust, which is the next layer down. So now that we have dust, we can take it here and sieve it and it's going to give us some other items. And what we're really looking for here is things like bone meal, or, uh, well, actually bone meal is one of the most important things that we need right now. But it looks like we didn't get much of anything out of that. We got one iron ore piece. So I think what we're going to want to do, I'm going to make myself up another chest so that we've got somewhere to put this stuff. We're going to be harvesting apples off of the tree. We're going to be harvesting trees. We're going to be growing wheat. And one more thing that we're going to do is we are going to take a whole bunch of these silkworms. Actually, I'm just going to take them all. We're going to set those in there. We can cook these silkworms, and then we can eat them. And you can see I'm already down three hunger, so food is starting to become an issue. So now that we have a cooked silkworm, you can see this is going to give me one haunch of hunger. So, uh... Yeah, we'll eat that, and uh, as we get more silkworms cooked, goodbye, Torch. So as we get more cook, cooked silkworms, we'll be able to get our hunger up, and boy, that really gave me a lot of saturation. So I think I'm going to wait until the saturation is down on that before I go ahead and eat another one of these silkworms. But uh, yeah, I'm going to... Go ahead and get a few more things done, possibly expand the island a little bit more down that way so that we can have more tree... Well, we don't really need more tree production. But I'm going to work on uh, gathering resources, and I guess I'm going to check on the length of the episode because I have no clue how long this has been yet, and I suppose I will see you guys in a little bit. So it has just started raining for the first time, so we quickly need to collect up some of this water. So we're going to make a couple more of these barrels. And uh, this will give us two buckets of water that we can use later on for other things. So these will slowly fill up. And you know what? I think I'm going to make a few more of those. We'll make a full six. Why not? We got plenty of wood. And... Uh, now this will allow us to make clay out of dust and it will also make it to where we have water sources. Now I found out last time around that yes we can get water. I think if we take a look at the sieve again, uh, there's the heavy sieve and as far as I know this makes, no not the heavy sieve, it's the crucible. The uh, wooden crucibles will allow you to turn leaves into water. So, uh, yeah, we don't have to wait for rain, but uh, 
I really had no reason not to. So now we're going to need to cover this, and that kind of sucks. Now another thing, we have gotten a lot more saplings from Sieving Dirt. We've also gotten some other ore pieces and a lot more food stuff. So we have a much larger wheat garden. We have a couple of potatoes here now and a watermelon stem. Now I have accidentally broken this tree a couple of times. So I would say probably putting the uh, apple tree so close to our wood tree, wooden leaf tree was a bad idea. And I just thought of something. I think we have the Eating Rain mod, let's just see. Yep. Oh god, that was loud. Nom 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 nom. That is messed up. So, yep, I think uh, now that we have this, I'm going to wait until this rain disappears, and actually, we could probably make it disappear pretty quickly if it wasn't daytime. But I'm going to go ahead and make myself up a bed, since we have a lot of string and a lot of planks. So let's go ahead and make up a couple of wool blocks, and then we'll put some planks underneath it, and there we go, we get a bed. And now once the... Nighttime comes, I'll be able to turn the rain off, and then we can look at getting some clay, and in the meantime, I will get the other stuff prepped. And now we are ready for the next step of the evolution of our island, and that is to make ourselves a crucible. Now for that, we need to put some dust in these wooden barrels that are full of water, and that will give us clay blocks. Now these clay blocks, we just want to punch these down and get them into clay balls. And then we need to combine these with bone meal. And it takes one bone meal per clay ball and we need seven of these porcelain clay that it makes. And so then we take this porcelain clay, put it together like this and we get an unfired crucible. Now this thing by itself is kind of useless, but what we can do after I grab some cooked silkworms is first make some mini charcoal. Now this stuff will cook one item at a time. So one of them should fire this crucible. Now once we have the crucible, we put it on top of a heat source. Now the only heat source that we have currently is a torch. And I forgot to replant the tree last time. So we are going to put down a torch that is not in the normal position. We're going to put the crucible on top of it. And then we are going to put some cobblestone in here. Now each cobblestone will make 250 millibuckets of lava. So we put in four cobblestone. That's going to take a while to produce, but we will be able to have cobblestone there. Now, the other thing is we are getting quite a bit of iron, and actually, I th we have enough, finally. Oh, are you kidding? Did they change how this works? Really? Now, that makes it a lot more difficult. So, now these iron ore chunks, what can we do with those? Oh, well, we can smelt those directly down into ingots. Okay, so that does work. Okay. So then I'm going to throw these three iron ore chunks in here, and this will give us an iron bucket that we can use to move around the lava and the water, and we'll be able to start setting up cobblestone generation. Now the one thing that we have to be really careful with, with moving around the lava on this, is our entire base is made out of wood right now. So we have to be really, really careful about what we do, but... Uh, we should be able to set that up and what I'll probably do to start out with since we'll have an iron bucket is lay down some water somewhere in a permanent source and or an infinite source and lay out a platform with water on top of it and then dump the lava on top of the water and that will make smooth stone and then what we can do is use a pickaxe or something possibly even the hammer and pick the stuff up 
and then we'll be able to set up a cobblestone or smooth stone because we can smelt it uh, platform that we can set up specifically for stone generation but that's gonna have to be the next episode because we are out of time so I'm gonna say thanks for watching oh man turning off the GUI makes everything dark that is an interesting bug all right well anyway thanks for watching if you enjoyed the episode don't forget to give a thumbs up if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe uh, if you have any ideas on goals that I should be shooting for or restrictions that should be placed on me go ahead and leave those down in the comments and I will see you guys next time bye